Right. Um, well, okay. She edges towards him. What are you doing? I, just, I like playing with something. Obviously, if we're taking the other side of the road. Especially it's recording. That, that's why we oh, can't no. do this tomorrow. Hi. <laughs> halfway through the behind the scenes videos for auditions I thought now would be a good time to answer just a few of your questions that you've been asking me. Let's take a look at some of these questions. The first one is by GJJGirl07. Um, he slash she asked, uh, how do you get money to fund your projects, i.e. money for equipment? Well, these films are for the most part independent. Um, and they're self-financed, so what that means is that any money I make from my YouTube channel, uh, which is why you guys subscribing really means a lot to me, um, goes, goes into my film work. So um, I make tutorials and then people watch my films and all of that, um, because of the ads on my videos, it helps make me money, which I put straight back into it. Um, so that's where a lot of the money comes from. Also, just from doing jobs, um, I try and spend as much of my time uh, working on film stuff. I don't want to be doing too many bits and bobs, but you need to finance these yourself. That's one of the reasons I produce my own films, because I know that no one's going to give me a director job without a director showreel. D4, scene six, take six. P Cookie Productions asked, were you inspired by any specific films to achieve a certain look or get a certain shot in the film? Um, most certainly, I mean, I always have what you might call Bible texts for a film. Um, and whilst I try to develop my own style, there are films that I know that I want it to have a similar impact to. Um, so for Audition, there was a lot of Hitchcock, um, just in the way that it's a slow, tense narrative that builds up and builds up to a crescendo at the end. Um, so uh, that was what I was going for, for addition. The music is very sinister in that respect. Christopher Hansen's working on some awesome stuff in that. I really wanted to try and get like a psycho style bird's eye shot, but we didn't have the uh, location and the resources to pull that off, unfortunately. A lot of the initial dialogue's in wide, just because we want to, we don't want to force any specific views that, um, onto the characters. You see in a lot of films that by cutting to a close-up of the main character you feel a lot more sympathy for them because you, you're forced to see things from their perspective. And we didn't want to have that straight away, we wanted you to analyse these characters as if they're fresh and raw um, and you're, they're not being biasedly told. Okay. Yeah, so she's more. Uh, yeah, I would. I would be more concerned if somebody took me down there. Yeah, and and he says, "Go on, touch it." Um, <laughs> Hokey, it's fair. <coughs> uh, Dad, I I just said I wouldn't. Be <laughs> in the next room. And, uh, I know you said I had to earn oh. my pocket money, but. <laughs> um, Justin Hunting asked, "Have you seen the Japanese horror by the same title?" No, I've not. There is a Japanese film called Audition, which is what Justin is referring to. I have not seen the film. I know what it's about. I've seen the trailer. Um, it interests me. I, I'm interested in seeing it. It's actually uh, a different kind of film. It's about this guy that weirdly, I think he auditions people to become his new wife. So it's, it's quite interesting. Um, and there's a similar psycho aspect to it that is also in my film Audition, but my film is, as a short film, focuses uh, focuses on the relationship between these two people rather than the auditioning process amongst other um, candidates, as it were. Uh, and the storyline is completely different, obviously. Oh, when you pick up the heating without you, I'll be freezing. Being an actor is often quite tricky because you've got to think about things. <laughs> things that aren't things. And what I like to Sorry, say Jamie. is Let the proper actor in, Jamie. Daniel Lamas asked, when will audition release? That's a very good question. 
Um, I get asked this a lot and it's actually a little bit more complicated than it sounds. Basically, the film is almost done. There's just a few more tweaks and then we're golden. The reason it won't be online straight away is because what we want to do is push it to a few festivals that we think will like the film. We want to push it out to them, hopefully get some festival screening and, and generate some interest in the film before it will then go online. So how long it will take to get the films to particular festivals so it gets a short run? Um, how long that process takes, we don't know, but the film should be online early next year if we can get it to some festivals later this year. That's the plan. Yeah, sir. Okay. Uh, um, don't... Oh, do it. Um, yeah, no, don't overdo it because we want to make your actual jumpbacks more. more. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, GJJ Girl 7 again asked, uh, why do you choose digital SLRs over a regular HD prosumer camcorder? Um, well, uh, digital SLRs give you a nice cinematic look and a lot of control. A lot of prosumer cameras don't have interchangeable lenses, which means you're very fixed on what you can achieve visually, um, and it brings it down a lot more to lighting. Now, whilst lighting is important, you can make more use of particular lighting setups if you have the flexibility to adapt your lens choice, your f-stop, your ISO, and your, your shutter speed, and everything in between to capture the specific look. So, uh, we shot audition on a Nikon D800, so that's why. It gives you a lot more flexibility using digital SLRs over ProSumer. If we had a bigger budget, we'd go on something like the Red, or even the Black Magic camera, or an Ari Alexia. Take 43, scene 7, take 4. And the last question is Cal Brooks asking, who are your film inspirations, are you directors, authors, and what are your favourite movies? This is very tough, um, a lot of people struggle to answer this because it's hard to think off the top of your head of a particular favourite movie because so many films deliver different things, like a comedy will make you laugh, a horror will make you scream or feel scared, and a drama will take you to emotional extremities. It's Every film delivers different things depending on what it's trying to achieve. Recently I've really enjoyed Avatar, I thought that was that was a very good film. Moving further back, I love um, Hitchcock films, I, I think they're excellent. And what he achieves is very modern, if you look at a lot of his style, it's very contemporary. Uh, he brought in dynamic camera movements and stuff uh, to a new level. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm a big fan of Hitchcock. Um, my favourite Hitchcock film is Psycho, I prefer it to Vertigo, Vertigo is good, but Psycho, Psycho is very good. So, thank you for your questions. Remember to uh, ask any questions you have in the comments box on YouTube or on my Facebook page or on my Twitter. Uh, all links will be in the description below. Hopefully you're enjoying these behind the scenes videos. If there's a certain thing you want to see more of, uh, I edit these as I go along. It's not like there's a bank of them, so I can always adapt these to make videos that you'll enjoy more. So, hopefully this was interesting and I'll see you guys soon. days, these nights, seems like everyone's got someone in their sights, raise your arm, take your aim, but when you leave, will you return again, it's love that you wanted. But hope that you planted Like this? Yeah. That's why I got it in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and 
on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to angle yourself towards us. 